Do we really only use 10% of our brain? Well, in my 30 years on this earth, my observations here definitely say some people, yes. Jokes aside, as humanity has evolved, we humans have invented different machines and tools to measure our brain activity. And no, cracking open someone's skull is not the best way to do it. Well, human curiosity always surprises me though. But what possibilities do we have to measure the brain activity? First, electroencephalography. But what the heck is electroencephalography? Well, this method seems like they put a bunch of tiny sensors on your head to listen to the whispers of your brain, and the sensors pick up the electrical signs that your brain cells make when they are communicating. But there is another way to measure brain activity, which is called functional magnetic resonance imaging. And that's all, there is no other words. This method is like taking a detailed picture of your brain while it's working. It uses strong magnets and radio waves to see which parts of your brain are using more oxygen when you're doing different tasks. So during these measurements, people even saw that no matter what one is doing, all brain areas are always active. And what's even more, they reveal that even during sleep, all parts of the brain show some level of activity. So no, we don't just use 10% of our brain. Just some of us. So you may think, how human brain is actually built up? Or how even humans are built up? At the most basic level, every human being is made of atoms. You, me, your neighbor you probably hate, the girl you fell in love with in 6th grade but never asked out, and everyone else. So, let's build up a human. The atoms combine to form molecules and in turn make up the cells of our bodies. Cells are the basic structural and functional units of life and they come together to form tissues, organs and organ systems. Nature is fascinating, you may think. And how right are you? Just by arranging atoms in the right order you can create a human being and rearrange them differently you can get a cat. Huh? So how we humans are so different and similar at the same time? I have to tell that essentially everything in the universe is composed of atoms, not only humans and cats. Everything in our expanding universe. But our brains are something special. Our brain controls how we see and understand things. And not just things, but everything. Our brain named itself brain and wants to know how we are built up or at least mine wants to know how we are built up and our brain literally wants to know everything but we are probably not as smart as we may think for example when we are dreaming our brain creates a whole new world that feels real even though it's not or is it and how do we know that what's happening right now is the reality well your brain probably can't put together a video as good as the one you are watching Right now, I mean. So this video, yeah. But sometimes things can get a bit mixed up. When we wake up from a dream, we often reassure ourselves that it was just a dream, not reality. But do we really know what is reality? Are we really sure when we are awake, we are in our reality? Where do such thoughts come from? Where do even thoughts come from? Do we control ourselves or our brain controls us? And why are you still watching this video?